So, gravity. Yep, familiar with the concept. Do you think if you spent your whole life lying down, like, horizontally, that you'd be taller than if you stood? Because gravity is just, like, flattening you out. Almost certainly, I'd imagine. People are pretty malleable. How about in space? In space? With no gravity? How does that affect your growth? Well, you know I don't know. I'm you, I don't know anything you don't know. It was more of a hypothetical question. No, a hypothetical is more a question you don't intend to be answered, but I think you'd like to know the answer. That'd be cool. You know what it'd be online? You can just Google this kind of information. Well, yeah. It's just kind of so bland and impersonal though. You know, for example, if I told you that some birds, after finding a mate, literally eject the part of their brain that helps them find a mate. I already knew that, but I'll pretend I didn't for the sake of this hypothetical. Then you kind of enjoy the new information. It's linked to my personality and it maybe even says something about me that I would tell it to you. But then if you went online and read the same thing on Wikipedia, sure, it might be more factual and uh, kind of more expansive, but you wouldn't get that kind of emotional tie to the information. Right. Well, that's my theory anyway. That's what happens for me. Well, yeah, you've got to have an emotional connection to information to get anything useful out of it. I can't remember people's names. Why not? So say someone's getting introduced to me. Yeah. My whole brain is just focused on trying to remember my own name because I know I'm about to have to say it. You struggle with your own name? Yep. Me too. Is liking a post on Facebook more akin to paying the creator what they charged or giving them a tip. Surely it's giving them a tip. So if I enjoy other people's content on Facebook and don't like it, is that okay? I find I do that a lot. Well, it doesn't seem very fair. Why don't you just like the stuff that you like? That's what it's designed for. That's what it's there for. And it doesn't cost you anything. Well, it's like any tipping, I guess. It's like all of a sudden I'm endorsing their content above everybody else's. It's got implications. You've overthought this. Three scariest things. Okay. Baby spiders. Because of where they come from. Librarians. Uh -huh. Arriving late to a film at the cinema. Yeah. These are pretty gentle worries. It's not a definitive list, it's a work in progress. But being late to a movie is the worst. I mean, I've only done it like twice, but... The well, trailers, trailers can, can be, be the best bit. bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm worried about the spoilers though. Some people avoid trailers altogether because they reveal too much. Well, yeah, they usually do. But I don't think you should watch them that closely. Just let them wash over you. I mean, I hardly remember any plot details from trailers. Well, you might just have poor memory. Mm-hmm. Wish they were a bit more creative these days, though. Trailers. They need to explore new styles. How do you mean? I mean, they all sound like Inception and have cheesy title cards. They need to be unique and stylish, like that Godzilla one from earlier this year. Yeah, that was good. Also, the Days of Future Past trailer was good. Sure. I saw a great film recently. Oh no, are you going to do that thing where you talk for ages about something you've never seen, which can be pretty annoying. Oh, I know what you mean. Like, the only thing worse than that is when people, like, give you one side of their earphones and, uh, and you put that in and they put in the other side and then you kind of listen to the same song to share their music but, like, you're really only hearing half the song and you don't even like yeah, it usually yeah. anyway so you just have to kind of fake yeah, smile. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. So the film. Oh yeah, well don't worry, you've seen it. Because I'm you. Yep. It's interstellar, isn't it? It is. Kinda loved it. It's pretty much designed for us. We, we love, love space. space. That's it. That is about 90% of what it is. You know, this has kinda just been my worst nightmare. Talking to myself. Having no one for company but me. <laughs> yep. It's awful. You know I feel the same way. Inevitably. We'll do it again sometime, maybe. Well, sure, maybe. We can work through a lot of issues, get some thoughts out in the open. Look, it's been good. I agreed.